Hello, 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 everybody. I love seeing all the excitement in the chat already. How is everybody? Let me know if you can hear me okay. I always like to ask that. You never know. Never know what, what craziness I might be dealing with, with technology. Hi, guys. Yay. Lots of people popping in on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And if you're catching the live, um, that's awesome. I mean, catching me live, that's great. But if you're catching me on replay, that's awesome too. Hello, hello. Awesome. Well, I am so excited, you guys. I knew that once I got through Crop on the Cape, I had some really fun things I wanted to share with my online audience. And uh, it took a little while to get it all pulled together, but I'm so excited to share it with you guys tonight. Um, so I, again, appreciate you all joining me. Yes, that is Jack behind me in the box. Um, let me see if I can. I don't know. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Um, he is the most meticulous cleaner and he's also really loud when he cleans. So you might, um, you might hear that. Uh, Joni, I think maybe your settings aren't right. I think everybody else can hear me. Um, so yeah, Marianne, that's Jack. Jack, say hi to Marianne. Um, so Yeah. Um, Marianne said she's only here for the possible glimpse of him. And it's actually funny you're here, Marianne, because he honestly usually leaves the room when I am doing a live. So he must know that you're here. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Marianne, the owner of the Rabbit Hole Designs, is Jack's number one fan. Uh, pretty much since we got him, he, she has always been able to tell him and Gus separately. We, we have two all black cats. She can always tell who is who. And uh, she's his she's his number one fan. Yeah. Jack in the box. Um, so I want to get started. I don't want to take up too much of your time tonight. I'm going to cover up Jack. Uh, but I appreciate you guys joining me. Um, I have two big things to chat about, and hopefully I will get through it fairly quickly. Um, and if you have questions, of course, I would um, answer those as well. So number one, distress techniques. You guys have been so patient waiting for another installment of this class. Um, we did distress techniques, uh, distress, distress ink techniques for card makers last spring. So it's been about a year. Um, and it's just, I've been so busy. As you guys know, a lot of you take all of my different classes and my events and, you know, I had to mermaid a little bit in the summer. Um, but we have another distress technique class and I am so excited. I have been playing behind the scenes and I'm so inspired and I cannot wait to share with you guys. This class is going to be focused on sprays and mediums. So we're talking about the distress spray stains and the distress oxide sprays. All right. And just like my distress ink technique class, um, I truly think that this class is great, whether you're a card maker, a scrapbooker, honestly, a mixed media artist, because it's really just going to be all about learning techniques, learning how to successfully use the medium. Um, and we're just going to make like a stack, a stack of backgrounds. Um, and you can do with those backgrounds whatever you would like. I absolutely love that to this day, I'm still getting tagged in people's cards and projects that they're making from backgrounds that they made a year ago. And there are still some of you guys that are signing up for that Distress Ink Technique class from last spring because it's still pertinent, still great to take which I would encourage you that if you haven't taken that class, I would really encourage you to take the class and at least listen to the content 
before you take this next distress technique class. And the reason why I say that is because I really dove into the different properties between distress inks and distress oxides. And we're going to talk a lot about that in this class, but I think it'll be nice for you to have that foundation um, so that you kind of are like, oh yeah, she mentioned that. Or, or yeah, I remember she mentioned that. Um, so we're going to be playing with the sprays and then we're also um, going to be playing with some of the distress mediums. Um, Tim Holtz has a whole ton of mediums in his distress line, texture paste, crackle paste, grit paste. Um, and so we're going to be playing with those. I will be posting a video in the class Facebook group. So if you sign up for the class, you get access to the private Facebook group. Um, and you also get access to the class resource page. And I will be posting a video probably in the next day or two going over the supply list. Um, because, and I want to stress this to you guys before you sign up. I do not, is everybody listening? I do not want everybody to go out and buy all the distress spray stains and all the distress, distress oxide sprays to take the class. Did you hear that? Did you hear what Janae Buller just said? Don't buy anything, all right? Um, I want you to use what you have. So if you have distress spray stains or distress oxide sprays that are collecting dust, we're going to use those. All right. But maybe you only have spray stains and you don't have distress oxide sprays. That's OK. Throughout the class, I'm going to be comparing and contrasting and showing you different things like I did in the first distress technique class. But I don't want you to buy something until you see if you like it or not. Right. Um. Because think about it, I mean, I come from teaching you guys in person, right? Going to a store or the store I managed, I would teach you in person. I would enable the heck out of you in class. You would use my supplies. And then after class, you would pick and choose what you liked and what you didn't. And that's what you would buy. So I just don't want you guys to buy stuff if you're not sure you're going to like it. And that's what's perfect about the online class, because you can take it with what you have. And then after class, whatever I enable you to like, you can purchase. And then you can go take the class again because you have access to the videos, right? So you got to have a little bit of one or the other, unless you just want to sit there and watch during the live, which that's totally okay as well. Um, and I tell you the colors I'm going to be using, the specific colors, but I would say like th two to three of a spray stain or two to three of a distress oxide spray and or, right? Um, and it's same thing with the mediums, the grit paste, the texture paste, um, the crackle paste. If you're like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with that, then don't buy it. All right. I will go through everything in class and then you will decide what it is that you're going to use in your creative world. All right. I do see some questions coming through. Just give me one second and I want to just tell you a couple more things about class and then I'll I'll really pay attention a little bit better. Um, so distress technique, uh, sprays and mediums. I totally forgot to double check what day it is. I think it's April 30th, which is the last Saturday of the month. I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> um, but signups are available now, but don't leave me. Chris is working behind the scenes on the website. Um, and all of the details are there. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have, okay? Um, I'm going to flip my camera real quick and we will show you some sneak peeks of the goodies that we're going to make. So hold on one minute. All right. So we are going to play with the oxides. We're going to play with different surfaces. So this is on the craft heavy stock, right? 
We're going to do fun, different uh, techniques to achieve different looks with our sprays. I know sometimes people have um, a little bit of a hard time with sprays and getting them to look more organic. Yummy, right? And then, like I mentioned, we're going to be playing with the different mediums. So you guys can see this is a crackle paste. Um, this one is a texture paste. I had to check my notes. But look at this yumminess, you guys. I was having a blast, a blast, a blast. We're also going to be playing with stencils. All right. And I'm going to give you giving you some fun tips and tricks with the stencils as well. And so that's your little sneak peek. All right. I'm really excited uh, to be offering this class for you guys. And you guys have been so patient in waiting. It takes a long time to, uh, and I'm sure you guys know, but it takes a long time to design a class, come up with like an outline, keep it focused. So, I mean, when we talk about the world of distress, there is so much out there and um, it's, there's just a lot. So there's more distress classes to come. It just sometimes takes me a while to design them. Um, that was all sprays. All those samples I just shared with you guys was all distress spray stains and distress oxide sprays. So classes available. I hope you, and don't worry about signing up like the second because online classes that I don't ship kits for, the signups are endless. There's no limit it, limits. So, which by the way, those of you guys that signed up for the Creative Journey Art Retreat this past weekend, thank you so much. Um, and thank you guys, those of you that did sign up always for your patience with my website. Um, I will tell you that um, I am working behind the scenes on my website. I have a web team that is um, actually a husband wife team that own this company and the husband I went to college with. We both went to school for graphic design. So I've known him forever. They are three thought based out of Plymouth, Massachusetts. And um, they've been helping me a lot with my website over the past year and a half. And we're working on planning out some, some redesigns and fixing the functionality and all of that. So that is in the works as well. Um, but thank you guys. I So let me see if I have any questions about the class before I get into the shop update. Yeah, Judy asked, is there a supply list for this one? There is, Judy. Just like all of my online classes, you can see the supply list before you sign up. Um, it's going to be right in the product description and very similar to how I break out my supply list for my lawn fawn card classes. I kind of put required and um, optional. Um, but when I say required, I, I hopefully if you weren't here for the beginning of the video, um, I really, I really don't want you buying a lot of things to take the class. I would rather you take the class with what you have and choose what you know, after class you want to add to your craft supplies. I would say the bare minimum is the one, you know, at least one of the papers that I recommend, um, at least two or three colors of one or the other spray stain or oxide spray, um, and a ranger heat tool. No embossing gun. I think I converted a lot of you guys in my first distress technique class um, with the Ranger heat tool. It does a diffused heat. So you can really leave it on your paper for pretty much ever and it's not going to burn. Um, and it doesn't blow the ink around like an embossing gun does. So those would be my three things that I would tell you to, to have if you definitely want to play. Um, will there be a kit for this class like you did for the first one? Um, I did not have a kit for the first class, Sandra. Um, for my first Distress Technique class, I did not do a kit for that. There'll be a handout for sure. Uh, let's see. I'm just scrolling through the comments to see if I missed any um, that I didn't answer yet. 
Yeah, Nancy said, I don't have any of the paste. I'm going to watch the class before I buy any. That is perfect, Nancy, because you might see what I make with it. And I will have card samples as well. Um, we won't be making cards in class, but just like I did in the first one, um, I kind of did a bonus handout. I don't know if I'll have that many samples, but um, I will have card samples. So I'll show you kind of them in the wild, like how you would use them in your creative world. But, um, but if Pace are not your jam. I rather you figure that out in class than buying something you're not going to use. Um, Sandy says she does have several of the mediums and she needs to learn how to use them. Awesome. So hopefully you'll sign up for class, Sandy. Awesome. You guys were confirming that I was right on the date. Oh my gosh. I was getting ready so many things for, for this launch and I forgot to jot down any notes. So I'm on the fly. Uh, thank you, Beth. She says, you're so refreshing. I can't stand it. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Mary says, question answered before I could even hit post. Good, good, good. Um, let's see. Denise wants everybody to put their hands up if they have any sprays that are collecting dust. I'm going to be honest. I am a Tim Holtz maker. I design projects for him all the time. And mine were starting to collect dust. So um, I had so much fun. I one night was working like I kind of started later in the day. I am much more creative later in the day. Um, and so I kind of got my motion going really late in the day. And I think I stayed up. I don't remember. Chris probably remembers. I stayed up to like three o'clock that morning, just working. Cause I just kept, was like, Ooh, what if I try this? Ooh, what happens if I do this? And I was having a blast. So I cannot wait to teach this class. Uh, Brienne, thank you. Yes. If you're enabled during class, I love it. If you use my Genabler links, which are my affiliate links. I also love when you support any of the stores that I have listed on my Genabler page. Those are independent retailers that I love and have taught at most of their stores. <laughs> Michelle says, sorry, Jen, I'm telling my hubby I need to complete my oxide spray collection for class. Okay, Michelle, your secret's good with me. All right. So, um, and Emmeline said, you know, hmm, don't buy anything. I don't have any sprays. So like I said, Emmeline, like it I obviously understand when you take a class, you sometimes want to get your get your hands on it and really start playing. So if you do want to buy a few things um, to actually take the class and work along with me live, um, then I would recommend a couple sprays, the paper, one of the papers that I recommend. Um, and this is on the supply list. It's either Distress White Heavy Stock, Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock. I am also going to be playing with Distress Craft Heavy Stock. But if you don't, nah, I'm not going to say that. Distress Craft Heavy Stock. I don't want to confuse things. Um, just one of those papers and then a Ranger Heat Tool. Those will be the three things if you really want to play. But if you're not able to attend the class live, um, and you're already planning to watch the replay, then I wouldn't buy anything. I would kind of watch and take notes. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to scroll one more second and then we will move on. Everybody seems really excited and that just gets me excited. Um, I often say that, uh, you know, I'm in here in my studio by myself with just the kitties. Chris pretty much keeps to himself during the day working. So it's always nice to hop on these lives and see your excitement. Um, let's see. Yes, we are using acetate, Charlotte, in this class. It is on the supply list. Um, but honestly, it could be a piece of plastic like from your stamps or your clear bags or something. Um, so Judy's asking specific questions on, uh, distress sprays and oxides. And I'm happy to answer those Judy behind the scenes or in the class, but I just, I don't want this to turn into like a class about the products just cause I do want to get to the shop update and I don't want to keep people too long tonight. Awesome. Nancy says, do you use the splat, bo splat box to corral the spray? 
Um, so I actually tend to mostly use my Simon Says Stamp card kit boxes to corral the spray, uh, but the splat box is great. It's a perfect size if you don't have a Simon Says Stamp card box. Um, so, and I would, that is on the supply list. I would recommend that if you want to contain your inkiness. All right. Heather says she's always creative in the middle of the night. So there you go, Heather. Uh, Lisa says, will I ever teach with distressed crayons? Quite possibly, Lisa. Um, there is so much in the distress world. And I actually was going to go a whole different way with this next distress class and then kind of got inspired by, by this. So you never know. You never know how my creative brain is going to work. And as always, with all of my online classes, if you can't watch it live, you can catch the replay in the private Facebook group for class. Um, and like I said, if you haven't taken the first distress class, I highly recommend it. It's not a requirement. I'm not like an official college of distress or anything where I'm going to force you to have a prerequisite. Um, but I highly recommend taking it and you can watch the replay. Awesome. You don't have to do the first class. I just highly recommend it. It will give you a good foundation. Um, yeah, I mean, people are asking, you know, am I going to teach with distressed crayons? Am I going to teach with distressed paints? Yes, yes, yes. I just, you know, it's whatever, whatever I come up with next. Uh, yeah, Annalisa, I thought you would like that. I'm not an official college. Uh, all right. Yeah, and uh, Janet McLeod just said, you know, we'll have to quickly catch up with the first class. I would purchase the first class and just even just listen to it, like maybe put it on in the background when you're doing dishes or something and just listen to it. Maybe don't do the play part per se if you're running out of time. Um, but I have been mentioning that a lot in all of my, you know, classes and social media that I really recommend you take that first class. The class is $30. Okay. <laughs> the distress police are knocking at my door. Oh, no, that's scary. Awesome. And there's a bunch of people commenting that they took the first class and they highly recommend it. So I appreciate that, as always, you guys. Okay, shop update. I've been hinting at this for a while as well. Um, first thing I want to mention before I forget is, and this will be probably helpful for you to know, even for signing up for the Distress Technique class. Um, on my website, I have always had the option to pay with PayPal and or credit card. Um, but unfortunately, um, some of you guys that were signing up for the Creative Journey Art Retreat uh, this weekend kind of know that my website, lots of crazy things happened. As always with every art retreat sign up, because it is a limited amount and because there are hundreds of people signing up at once, my website just cannot handle all of that. So long story short, I'm not going to get into all the technical stuff because honestly, my brain hurts from it this week, but we've had to disable PayPal payments. So only credit card payments and if you have a gift card, those will still work, are available um, on my website. And I apologize if that is not, you know, convenient for you. It's not convenient for me either, but it's just the way it has to be. I do not know exactly when I will be able to enable PayPal payments again. So um, hopefully you guys will be able to shop with a credit card. And if not, um, just stay tuned and you can always shop later. Um, but again, as far as class sign up goes, I just don't know exactly when um, that will be available again. So just credit cards only. And um, again, apologies. I'm trying, you guys, trying to figure it all out. Um, but so shop update. Um, so a lot of you guys know I hosted Crop on the Cape um, a couple weeks ago. Feels 
like just yesterday, because I feel like I'm still recovering. Um, but this is an in-person event. People work on their own projects, scrapbooking, card making, mixed media. Um, and then they sign up for classes if they want, and they shop with a bunch of different vendors. Um, and we have games, and it's just a wicked fun weekend. I honestly wish it was longer because so much planning and work goes involved. And then I feel like it's gone, like in a blink of an eye. Um, so when I was getting ready for Crop on the Cape, I was ordering fun, some fun new products to sell at the event, but I also knew I'd be adding them to my online shop to offer them to all of you guys. So that is what the shop update is. And I'm going to go through some of the items with you. Uh, really good question. Christine just said, if your PayPal went through for the retreat, we're good, right? Yeah. PayPal um, payments were fine. Kind of. But yeah, as long as you are registered, Christine, for the event, you're all set. We disabled them on Monday, PayPal payments. So um, so shop update. Um, one that I've been hinting to a lot is there is new gear. Um, I'm really excited about this one, glitter, all of the things. And I want to bring in my um, table again, so I can show you, actually these I'm gonna hold up. Um, so I wanna share with you. Now, as far as gear goes, I am not, is everybody listening? I am not a clothing boutique and nor do I have the space to be a clothing boutique. So if you go to try to purchase, say this hoodie tonight and it's not in your size, click the notify me when back in stock. That is going to help me know the quantity to reorder of that size and that pattern and that style. Okay. So please don't get discouraged. I ordered a lot for Crop on the Cape and I did come home with a decent amount, but I, it's scary. I don't want to be like buying you know, a bajillion glitter, all the things, hoodies, and then nobody wants them. So if you don't see your size in the style, color, words that you want, just click notify me and that will help me um, know when it's back. No, like I'll be able to see, oh, 10 people want this hoodie in, in extra large. Like I can see that. And so that will help me. And I am going to place a reorder very soon, very, very soon. Okay. So it'll be a quick, quick turnaround. And then when I add the stock back in the shop, you're going to get an email when it's available again. Super easy. All right. Um, the other thing I was going to say, oh, I know what I was going to say. Pretty much what is available is pullover hoodies like this with the actual hood, sweatshirts without a hood, um, zip hoodies, which I'll show you all of these in just a minute, except for the regular sweatshirt. I just realized I didn't grab one of those. But zip hoodies, uh, V-neck t-shirts, t-shirts, and um, long sleeve t-shirt material. All of the styles and brands are actual shirts that I have owned for over a year, if not longer, from local companies, um, like here on the Cape. Local artists, I love their stuff, so I'll buy a hoodie. Um, you know, Firefly Farm, uh, they do awesome gear when they do their events. I've bought a lot from there. So it's all stuff that I have tried and true. Um and so the reason why I'm telling you that is the quality is really nice. They would stand um, washing a lot, wearing a lot. I would say all of the styles are very forgiving in, um, in sizing. They're very comfy and roomy. The only one that's a little bit more conservative, but I still wear it and I'm a curvy girl, um, is the V-neck t-shirt. Okay. But I, I have that V-neck. Every item in the description has the sizing measurements laid out for you. Okay. Um, and almost Lisa asked, are sizes in women's or unisex sex? 
almost all of them are unisex, Lisa. And what it means what that, and again, I'm not a pro at this, I'm learning, but what it tends to mean when it's a women's size fitting is it cinches in the waist. And even the V-neck um, shirt doesn't cinch in the waist as much. Okay, but that one is the one that's a bit more conservative. So if you're nervous, I would stay away from the V-neck t-shirt, but the long sleeve shirts, this hoodie, the sweatshirt, and the zip up hoodie, which is my favorite, um, all are very, very um, roomy. And Karen's asking, are there plus sizes? Um, Karen, some of the items go up to 4X. So, um, and this hoodie or this sweatshirt, yeah, hoodie, hoodie, sorry, I'm forgetting what I'm wearing, that I'm wearing right now. I like it really roomy, especially when it is cold out. I don't wear roomy stuff as much in the summer, but this is a 2X that I'm wearing right now, okay? Like I said, curvy girl, I got my boobs. So, you know, and I like to feel comfy, all right? So let me, um, I'm gonna bring up my screen again, and then we can show you some of the fun um, styles. Okay. And words, right? So, oh, I was going to hold them up. Nah, I think I'm going to do it on the table. So we have this one right here. Um, it's a nice V neck. Everything is super, super soft, which again, it's everything that I want to wear you guys. And I have all of them. <laughs> um, but so it's a V neck. It's like a dark gray. And it says crafty soul. Now I'm not, I didn't bring up all the variations. So I'm just kind of showing you what, what the designs are and what the different options are. Okay. But this crafty soul comes in many different things. All right. Um, so yeah, so crafty soul, really, really cute. And again, oh, I wish you guys, when I told you my binder was soft, remember my creative chick resource binder? When I said that was soft, these are soft too. All right, this teal, which is not showing up as good on camera, the color, it's the perfect teal. Whoops, I hit the uh, camera. So this one says coffee and crafting. And this is a unisex t-shirt and comes in many sizes, like extra small, I think up to like four or five X. So coffee and crafting. I just love it, right? And uh, Tracy from Papercraft Clubhouse and Jackie, the store in Connecticut, both of those girls got coffee and crafting shirts. I'm sure that you are uh, super surprised. If you guys are Papercraft Clubhouse fans, uh, you will know that. All right. And just like what I'm wearing right now, this is glitter, all of the things. All right. And it's a long sleeve. I've been wearing this, not this exact one, but I've been wearing this on camera too that you guys have kind of spied. It's a long sleeve, super, super soft. It's like a heather blue is what they call it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Beth just said, shouldn't the cats be represented on gear? The crafty cats. Maybe. Who knows what other gear will do? All right. So this is an another style or I don't know like what word to use for style design. This is another design. That's it. Crazy craft lady, right? So fun. And this is my beloved zip up hoodie, you guys. I live in this zip up hoodie all year long because it's the perfect lightweight. So it works really great. Um, to layer in the winter over a sweater or a sweatshirt. But I also love it in the summer because like if I'm out in the summer weather, which oh, I can't wait so soon, so soon. Um, and then I go into like a restaurant for dinner and it's air conditioning. Oh, it's like so cold. I love to just throw a little something on and this is light enough for that. It's literally my favorite Joni's asking, is everything 100% cotton? I don't believe so, Joni, but every description of every item gives you the breakdown of the fabric. Um, the arms of the zip-ups are too long for me. Oh, no, Brianne. Seriously? Huh. I've never heard that before. I'm sad. Then this is um, a purple V-neck. Okay. But I don't know. I'm going to hold it up. Like you guys can see it's like, it's not cinched at the waist. See how it's all straight. So even though this is a women's cut, 
it's not um, cut in at the waist, I guess. Um, and this is a 2XL that I'm holding up. Another, but I wanted to show you guys the purple. Look at purple. Um, crazy craft lady. It's pretty much crafty, uh, crafty soul. Um, crazy craft lady, coffee and crafting and glitter, all of the things. And I also just wanted to point out those of you guys that just signed up for the creative journey art retreat, you may want to get a hoodie or a t-shirt with, um, that logo. I sometimes do pre-orders for those, but um, there is quite a few in stock. And this is that zip up hoodie, but they also are some V-necks. Um, so there's quite a few in stock, but again, if you don't see the size or the style that you want, you're gonna click notify me and that will help me know what um, comments to order. So somebody said, can't find glitter all of the things in the store. If you click the gear category, it should be coming up. Um, Chris was doing all of that behind the scenes for me while I was um, on live with you guys. And Josie just said, is it crazy that I basically knew your inventory? Poor Josie, you guys. So uh, supply chain issues, gear for Crop on the Cape came in so late and it was organized, but not organized in a manner that we needed it. And poor Josie, she was in charge of the gear all weekend and she knew my inventory better than I did. Um. Oh, good. Somebody said I was just on the site and saw glitter all the things shirt. Thank you, Melissa. So just check. Um, will you do coffee and crafting with the Creative Journey logo? Um, probably not, Stephanie. I'm probably not. There's some other ideas I have down the road, but it's going to be a while until I do any new designs or new design combinations. Um, let's see. Everybody's helping find the glitter, all the things. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so let me go to um, other um, shop updates because there's other things in the store besides just uh, gear. This I know is a crop on the cape tumbler, but I wanted to share it with you guys. I know that there's some people who attended Crop on the Cape who maybe um, forgot to purchase theirs when they were attending. So they're online now. But I was just curious. I'd love to hear your feedback if you guys would like this in Glitter All of the Things or Creative Chick. It's a really nice stainless steel tumbler that will keep all your drinks and beverages cool, cold. Um, I like that it'll still fit in a cup holder as well. Um, so let me know in the comments or, you know, leave a comment on the site or whatever you would like. I'm just curious, um, if you guys would like to see those. I, I love it. Like I have that one, obviously. Then some other fun things that I added to the shop. Yeah, the tumblers were so popular at Crop in the Cape. We actually came home with very, very little. Um, Lori says she bought the zip up hoodie last year and she loves it. Awesome. Oh, good. So you guys would like it and either glitter all the things, crazy craft lady. Awesome. I love the 20 ounce tumblers would love a glitter all the things. Um, so funny that you guys love my glitter all of the things. I found my people. Oh, I'd love one that just said distressed or distress all of the things. I don't know. I'd have to chat with Tim about that. Um, awesome. All right. So some other things I added to the shop. We've got some glitter, all of the things, post-it notes, because why not, right? Um, that way, when you guys are jotting yourself notes, maybe you'll smile and think of class and think of all the times we glittered all the things. 
And then I also added, um, I know that you guys have been loving the Inkjoy teal pen on my site, but I also understand like in the real world, we not, might not be able to write out all the things in teal. We might actually have to like sign a check in black or whatever. Um, so I've added black um, gel pens. And if you guys haven't gotten one of these yet, um, they are my most favorite, favorite pens. They write so nice, so smooth. Um, they don't smear. So if you want to do any journaling or anything, they're good for that as well. Glitter all of the things is not, this is not my handwriting. Um, let's see. I'm just going to take a sip of water real quick. Brianne says, best pen ever and left-hander friendly. Thank you, Brianne. I should add that into the description. I'm laughing because Josie just said I need a monthly subscription for the gel pens. Oh my gosh. It'll be like the... Um, the shaving blades. I'll just send you guys pens. Yay. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are liking these things. All right. Then I'm so excited about this. Sadly, it did not get here in time for Crop on the Cape. Um, but we have a new enamel pin, a glitter, all of the things enamel pin. Um, I think you guys can see behind me right there my um, embroidery hoops that my friend Shari made me. That's how I store all of my enamel pins. Um, I love collecting them. They just make me so happy. Lawn Fawn has some really cute ones. I've been collecting um, the Tim Holtz Distress ones, of course, um, and so much fun, right? Uh, Christine just said the binder is on sale. Is it because you're coming out with a new binder? Um, yes, the binder is on sale. And no, it's not because I'm coming out with a new binder. I just felt like putting it on sale for a little bit, which is also reminding me, I know that you guys are all, well, not all, but a lot of you are waiting for extra dividers for the binders. And I had hoped that I would have them for this shop update, but um, I don't but I am in the works of getting them. So uh, dividers for the binders will be sold separately soon. And as soon as I get them, I'll just put them up on the shop and make an announcement. But yeah, so glitter all of the things, enamel pin, super cute, right? Then this got put in my shop before the event. So you guys might have saw it, but we've got a glitter all the things holographic sticker. And these are the really nice vinyl stickers that are waterproof. You guys can see I have them on my water bottle and love, love, love them. So this is a fun holographic one. And then I just had to, you guys, look at the little mini, the little mini sticker. It's just so cute, right? right? So when you're placing an order, I don't think you're going to order just stickers, but when you're placing an order, treat yourself to um, a little sticker as well. Um, I don't think that I'm paused. Hopefully everybody can still see me okay. Um, so Karen's asking, how are the embroidery hoops um, for enamel pin storage? I'm going to pull my screen up. So you can see the circles behind me. Those are embroidery hoops. Um, and I cannot take credit for this. My friend Shari made them for me um, and came up with the idea, but she just put some batting and fabric. Um, and then she painted each of the hoops a rainbow color. So the pink hoop, I put my pink concentrated uh, enamel pins on it. The purple hoop, I put my purple concentrated pins on it. And you just poke them through the fabric and the batting, and then they hang up on your wall, and they just look super cute. So just a fun way to store them. I know a lot of people like um, collecting them, but they're not sure how to display them. So that's a fun way to do that. Um, something else I put in the shop because people were having a hard time finding it. It's kind of, you know, silly, but 3D foam strips. I've been using these so much in my class. You guys can see how they're the little skinny strips. They're perfect to put behind, you know, to pop up all of the things. And um, again, I've been using them so much in my classes. So I added those to the shop. You guys will see some kind of like staple supplies in my shop. Um, 
when I used to do the creative journey art retreat in person, I would sell things like that. Um, sadly, there's no local store here on the Cape anymore. And there isn't one super, super close. Uh, Papercraft Clubhouse is two and a half hours away. And uh, Butterfly Reflection Inc. up in New Hampshire, Vanessa, I would say she's at least two hours away. So anyways, when I had my creative journey art retreat in person, um, I would sell some of those staple items. And so I added some of those to the shop. I added this as well. This is the Spellbinders Best Ever Craft Tape. This is what I use to hold my dies in place when I am die cutting. It's also what I use to hold my images in place when I'm coloring them, when I'm teaching all of you guys. Um, so I love, love, love this tape. And um, again, I thought since I'm telling you all the time I love it, I'll add it to my shop. All right. So, and then another fun thing, which I know maybe not everybody that's watching will want these, but Michelle, who works at Scrappy Chic, and Scrappy Chic makes kits for my online lawn fawn card classes. Um, Michelle is kind of starting her own little business, die cutting shapes um, out of chipboard. And she contacted me before Crop on the Cape and um, offered to give one of these to all of the attendees. And so it's a fun little die cut shape. Um, it's out of chipboard and it's Cape Cod in the islands. So I love this. I think it's so cool. And if you've visited Cape Cod or going to visit Cape Cod, it'd be cool to put in a little memory book. Um, I think it'd be cool to put on a card as well. I'm going to have to make some samples, but I haven't had a chance just yet. I think it'd be really cute to use this with my Cape Cod exclusive stamp set as well. Somebody asked if I like the yellow tape better than the purple tape. I like the yellow tape better than the new purple tape. So it's it's very similar to how the original uh, purple tape was. All right. And then I just wanted to point out my amazing ruler um, got a redesign. I'm going to flip this shirt over and utilize it. <laughs> Um, but this is the amazing ruler, uh, scrapbook and memories, which is another store that is awesome in Missouri, um, makes these and ships them wholesale. Um, it's an amazing ruler because it has all of the measurements for you. It has the eighths and the sixteenths, and it's amazing for people like me who only could live in the world of quarter inch and half inch because she couldn't remember what the lines on the ruler represent. So, but now I can be really fancy. And in class, I can say, cut your paper to be one and five eighths. And I'll know that I'm saying the right thing. Um, so what's nice about this ruler is the um, numbers are all etched into the plastic. And I've been carrying this for a while, but I did give it a redesign. So it now has my Creative Chick logo on there which that is my handwriting, the Creative Chick logo. Um, it comes in 12 inches, which is a zero centering as well. It also comes in six inches, which I honestly use my six inch ruler the most. Um, and I put in the notes of the product, I recommend buying two. So you can keep one white, but then take one and rub some acrylic paint into the etching. Um, and just buff the excess paint off of the ruler. And then that way you'll have one like this that shows up good on white paper, but then one like this that's going to show up great on dark paper. I love, 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 love these rulers. Literally sitting right here in my cup is the ruler and I use it all the time, all the time. So that's not a new thing, but it's kind of been revamped and I just wanted to point it out. I also would be remiss if I didn't share. I'm fully, fully stocked on all the ink stands. Um, I've been selling a lot of the minis lately. Um, I don't use the minis as much just because I tend to use like my full size uh, distress inks the most um, and like my lawn fawn inks. But love, love, love. I've got the mini, the square and the rectangle. Um, the square and the rectangles have the magnets on the side and they click together. They have the rubber feet, so when they're on your table, it doesn't move, and you can just rub right in with your blending brush, and you don't have to hold on to anything. I love it. I use these 
almost every day. Um, so those are fully restocked. I'm really thankful to be a supplier of those. And then I didn't bring up all the uh, Make It By Marco stuff that I have, but I am restocked on glue tube holders. Um, even though I call it a glue tube holder, I'm just like looking around. I think I just... So it's a glue tube holder, but it also will hold like your collage medium bottle. Um, hold it on the side so you guys can see. Obviously, it'll hold like your L'Enfant glue tube. I always have it one on my desk holding a uh, baby glossy accent. So it's ready to go. And I find using these and having your um, glues in them at all times Um I'm, I never have really a clogged bottle anymore. And they're always, always ready to go. The only time I have a clogged bottle is when I'm working in my studio late at night. And I just leave my glue tube uncapped the whole night in the ink, in the glue tube holder. So glue tube holders are restocked, chamois cases. There's also um, an ATG gun holder. So it will stand up and not knock over on you. And then there's also a clutter keeper, which is really great. Um, I haven't brought those two back up from when I brought them for display at Crop on the Cape, but the clutter keeper is really nice to just throw your Misty in or throw your trimmer in or throw your station in um, and get it out of the way, but it doesn't get buried on your desk so you don't know where it went. Um, and then I have been selling a ton of these, the brush stand caddy. It holds 20 brushes takes up very, very little room on your desk. Um, and then in the description of this caddy, I put um, the link to the Lazy Susan that you can get so that it'll spin. Um, ooh, how pretty is that? Let's just do that for a minute. It just looks so pretty. <laughs> I easily get distracted. Um, so lots of those are in stock and um, been selling a lot of those as well. And then... I think that's it. I have one more thing I want to tell you, which is a really important thing. Um, so I'm going to just flip it back to just me. Um, and so the other thing I just wanted to say before I go, and of course I will answer any questions too, but um, you guys might have seen I shared on my stories um, at Crop on the Cape, we do red raffles every year. And I have so much fun picking out those raffles. I, I like picking out all the prizes, but the red raffles are really fun because they're not all necessarily crafty items. They're a little bit bigger ticket, ticketed items, um, things that I think people will really want um, because you purchase red raffle tickets and you put your tickets in the bucket to try to win whatever your favorite items are. And so it's all luck of the draw and it's just a lot of fun. We give away a spot to crop on the Cape next year. Um, and so this year um, I had decided that all the money we raised for the red raffle tickets, I was going to donate to Yana Smakula who is in the Western part of Ukraine. And her and her husband have been driving to Poland, picking up supplies, bringing them back into the country um, and you know, trying to support their country as best as they can, all amidst of sleeping in bomb shelters. Um, she's still making cards when she can because it makes her happy, which I'm so thankful that she has this hobby. And so the red raffle tickets for Crop on the Cape, we, um, I collected all of the money and I'm donating it directly to Yana. She has a PayPal um, account set up just for her. Um, her friend who works at Spellbinders with her, she designs amazing products for Spellbinders and they're based out of Arizona. And so her friend at Spellbinders is helping facilitate it all. So we raised over $2,700 at Crop on the Cape. I always have two rolls of tickets. Um, and 
I, we had to run out and get a third roll and they're always red raffle tickets. And so my friend, Jen from wash ashore ran to Staples for me real quick and they didn't have any red raffle tickets. She's like, what do you mean? You don't have red raffle tickets. So they got blue tickets. Um, but anyways, we blew through the tickets. People were so generous. A lot of people were just like donating money, not even sure what they were, you know, what they could win. And it was just so great. And so, $2,700 $2,700 is going to Yana. But after the event, I had some swag bags left over from the event from the amazing, generous sponsors for Crop on the Cape. And so I have um, full sets of swag bags with the um, glittered bag with all the goodies in it, uh, scrapbooking cards today, magazine, all the stuff. And then I also have ones grab bags that weren't quite necessarily everything that the attendees got. So I've broken them up into two different uh, dollar amount grab bags. The biggest one, I think the value is $290 and you can purchase the grab bag for $75. And then the other one might be $220 and you can purchase it for $50. Um, And all of that money is going to go to Yana as well. Um, It was the best thing I could think of to do with the extra uh, donations that came from the sponsors. And um, I thought it would be really nice to continue on and add to that dollar amount that we're giving Yana. So those are available in my online shop. Um, Obviously, you'll be paying for shipping and that part of the money won't go to to Yana, but the full $75 and the full $50 per purchased grab bag are going to go straight to Yana. So have fun, get a little grab bag. You never know what you're going to get. And um, I listed all the sponsors, um, but I just listed them. It doesn't mean if you see, you know, Newton's Nook, that you're going to have a Newton's Nook thing in your bag um, because I didn't want to have so many different variations. It's a, it's a grab bag, but it's a really awesome um, thing. I see some comments coming through um, from some crop on the Cape attendees saying, yes, the bags, there was so much product, such an awesome bag. Awesome. Thank you guys. So, so yeah, whoo. Lots of fun stuff, you guys. So I hope you guys are all going to sign up for the Distress Technique class focused on sprays and mediums. Check out that class description, read about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, You really can't lose by signing up, right? Because I'm telling you that you don't have to buy anything. Sign up for the class, learn, and then choose whether you want to buy something. Um, Shop update. Remember, if you're not seeing the gear that you, you know, what you want is out of stock in your size, click that notify me button because that's going to help me know how many of which kind to reorder. And I will be doing a reorder very, 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 very soon because I have a feeling um, you guys are going to be excited. Distress Technique class, you can sign up right now. Chris was working behind the scenes. I know some of you have already been shopping. He kind of slipped me a little note and was telling me how many orders we have gotten already, which reminds me, I am usually like ship it the next day type of girl, but just be patient with me um, because I'm also designing projects for the Creative Journey Art Retreat. I've got to work on that but I'll also be working on shipping your orders. So depending how many orders I get, it just might take me a little bit longer to get through those. (laughs) Leslie just said, guilty. She's one of those people that have already ordered. Um, And so, yeah, the grab bags are on the website. So you just purchase them like you do anything else in my online shop. And I will ship those right out to you. Um, let's see any questions that I have missed. Thank you guys for purchasing those grab bags. I appreciate it. And I know Yana really appreciates it. If you guys aren't following her on social media, she has been posting, um, some YouTube updates and some Instagram updates. Um, and I think I linked to her main page on her blog that talks about what she's doing for Ukraine while they're in Ukraine. Um, And you should just follow her anyways, because she is amazingly talented. Like everything she makes is just gorgeous. Um, Yeah, Yana's giving super short updates on YouTube. So worth watching. It really is. It's 
pretty incredible um, to see firsthand from somebody. I mean, I know Yana. And so from somebody that I know I can trust, it's, it's pretty powerful. And she and everybody in Ukraine are in my thoughts a lot. Um, yay. Laura attended crop on the Cape and she says the swag bags were amazing. So much product. Kelly says she loves my sweatshirt. Well, Kelly, you can get it at shirkus.com. All right. Let's see. Yeah, if you look up the um, brush caddy on my website, in the description, I linked to the Lazy Susans. So you can get those and make your spin. I don't know how I would have it without it spinning, honestly. It's so, so convenient. All right, let's see. Any questions that I missed, you guys? Um... Josie just said Jimbo. So she must have saw that my dad came online. I don't see when I'm doing live on Facebook and YouTube, I don't see who's joined. I only see a few comments. So if you're watching dad, hi. <laughs> um, Marcy says she's ordered. Now she waits. <laughs> Thank you for being patient and waiting. Um I'm happy to help her in any little way I can because I, yeah, I don't know what else to do, but um, let's see. Does the zip up hoodies have fleece inside? No, Melanie. The zip up hoodie um, is just a like cotton like material. I was actually going to look. Um, it's 50% polyester and 25% cotton. Um, it's a very thin material. This is actually the inside. It's the same exact as the outside. So it's not going to get pilly. And this sweatshirt and the other sweatshirt, I'm just trying to show you guys. It's like a different type of inside. <laughs> Look at me. Um, but it doesn't get pilly either. Like this is how it is all the time. So it washes really, really nicely. Oh my gosh, Gina, three orders. You were not kidding earlier when you said that I could just take your money. Well, thank you for doing a third order and purchasing a grab bag for Yana. I really appreciate that. Denise is frantically shopping now. You guys are so cute. Um, sad, the mint glitter, all the things isn't available on my side. Will you be restocking? Yes, I will restock. Please, Katie, hit the notify me button so that I see the style and size and color that it is you really want. So I'll know to order it. And then once I restock my shop, um, you can, you will get an email. And Joni, I don't know if you saw, but you can choose local pickup now. So if you do live on Cape Cod and you want to do a local pickup, you can choose that instead of paying for shipping. Um, does the glitter, all the things come in mint with no hood. It's not on the web website. Not at this time. It doesn't just the style combinations that are available on my site, but send me an email and I can kind of keep track. If I'm missing the beat on something that everybody wants, I will see what I can do. So just send me an email through my website. Oh, awesome. Joni, I'm glad you figured out the local pickup. I was so proud that I figured out how to do that. Beth says, I need a sweatshirt, but she's not sure which one. <laughs> Somebody help Beth out. <laughs> awesome. Um, so Melanie says that she's a huge ball of static. So she loves that the sweatshirt material instead of fleece. Yeah. I live on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. So local pickup is just if you live nearby. Like there's a couple people who used to shop with me at my, the local store I used to manage and I'm always refunding them shipping. So I just added that, um, added that option. But yeah, awesome. Oh no, Denise, grab a $50 grab bag. Um... Is the Lawn Fun card kit the same as the online class for June 17th? Um, it is, it was an exclusive class that I did not teach to the public. I'm not sure what the June 17th is. Is that a date I have scheduled to do a class? That is not even designed yet. So no, that is not what that kit is. 
And Lisa says, when in doubt, buy one of each sweatshirt. So there you go, Beth. And then Laura said, sorry, Katie, I may have gotten your mint glitter, all the things hoodie. You guys are so sweet. All right, you guys, I don't see any like crazy questions coming in yet. Um, oh, yeah. So, Nicole, I don't have all my dates memorized, but if that's a class date I have on my upcoming classes date, which thank you for reading all the way to the end of my newsletter. I appreciate that. But this class kit is not what I'm going to be teaching in June. It will be something completely different unless you've attended Firefly Farms Creative Crate events. Um, so this sweatshirt is available in my shop, Kelly, um, mint hoodie, glitter, all the things is in my shop. If you're not seeing the size that you want, just click notify me. Um, and Kelly just reminded me the best way you guys for me to keep you in the loop of everything is to make sure you're subscribed to my email newsletter and then actually reading my email newsletters. Um, because you just never know when you're going to miss a social media post. You're welcome, you guys. Well, thank you for joining in my excitement. Again, I could have written a whole blog post explaining all of this, but wasn't it more fun to just hang out and be excited together? That's how I feel, at least. And then those of you, those of you that couldn't attend live can watch the replay. Brianne is keeping me on task. Yes, don't forget, um, Kelly Marie and I will be live on Friday night doing our free mini Create With Us Lawn Fawn class. We will be live on Lawn Fawn's um, Facebook page and Lawn Fawn's YouTube channel. So we're going to be making some very rainy cards, which if you guys saw me on my walk today, I was getting ready, getting in the mood. Um, and then you guys also might want to just pay attention because you might be able to see me live on Saturday. That's all I'm going to say so far because nothing's been officially announced yet and I don't think I should be the one announcing it. Oh, awesome. Leslie's doing her prep for Create With Us right now. Somebody had asked if I'm going to paint umbrellas on my nails next because I still have my strawberries from my Berry Fun class. Sorry, I have a chip in my polish, but I've still got the cute strawberries. Um, uh, no worries. You can always watch the replay. That's a fun thing to do for a birthday. Make calzones. Yep, maybe a live on Saturday, Mary. Pay attention to uh, my email newsletters and my social media. Yeah, I might be able to figure out raindrops. I was trying to think how I could maybe make an umbrella out of like coming from my cuticle down, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> I don't know, Bonnie. I don't know. All right, you guys. This was so much fun. Again, I know I kind of sound like a broken record, but it's way more fun to do a class launch and a shop update with you guys on a live than just doing it and posting a blog post. So thank you guys so much. Um, as always, I have the best peeps in my corner. You guys are awesome with all of your excitement and all of your support. I appreciate it so much. I say it all the time, but I mean it. Um, so thank you. Thank you. I hope I'm going to see all of you guys signing up for that distress technique class uh, because we can always learn something, right? And it's going to be such a fun, creative play class. Um, you're going to walk away inspired. I just know you are because I literally had to like put my straight, my sprays back in the drawers. So I would just stop because I was having so much fun. But anyways, thank you. Thank you, Nancy, for grabbing a $50 grab bag. I appreciate it. I cannot wait to send that money to Yana. Um, <laughs> Janet says it was very fun. Your store is awesome. And then she said, luckily my husband's in the other room. <laughs> I love it. Your secrets are always good with me. Always. I won't tell a word soul. 
All right. Thank you guys. Happy Wednesday night. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.